as you can see simple enough so I just put it back to the end if there is a material and actually I use the same simple style uh, we don't need that uh, yes that's about it and we need one last more track if I find the correct as if block yes this will be it uh, the VT so the vertex texture coordinate basically so as if chord I and 0 equals to V and then the next equal to T so chord I and then the next so the first character equal to T then then so vertex coordinate basically then I just read it obviously to the texture coordinate I really hope that I make the texture coordinate or not so never too late so std vector oh fracking caps lock again so std vector and then it will be the pointer it will be a pointer to this texture coordinate so text chord I yes text chord and I call it to not be the same name texture coordinate like that a long name but we can handle it I believe so okay so I make two float variable float call it u and the v like uv coordinate obviously uh, in OpenGL it is the s and the t I guess never mind about these letters so basically we have uv coordinate which contains obviously the u and the v component okay and I just read in so s can f and you know read in chord i c s t r okay and the pattern is v t and then the free uh, two floats okay and I read the first float to the U and then the second float to the V simple enough and then I just push back this coordinate so uh, texture coordinate dot push back and I push back a new text chord and this will be the U and the 1 minus V uh, you're probably wondering why this is mi uh, 1 minus V I think I already uh, tell you the reason in the OpenGL it's, uh, it starts at the lower left corner and it textures the lower left corner and so that is the 0 0 coordinate but in the object file it uh, starts from the upper left corner which is the uh, 0 0 coordinate so basically we have to just swap it and the easiest way is to uh, subtract from 1 so if we have if we are in the 1 coordinate then we just set back to 0 because 1 b uh, minus 1 is 0 if we have 0 0.5 coordinate then we remain 0 0.5 coordinate if we are 0 0.3 coordinate we just set 0 0.7 coordinate simple enough okay and uh, and I set the is texture equal to true because we have a texture okay these are the boolean values I de declared in the beginning okay actually we need one more check to make sure that we have materials so if materials dot size equal to zero so if there is no material then is materials equals to true else the is materials equals to true oh what am I doing so this is the false and that is the true okay so if there is no material then uh, the obviously there is no material if there is material then we have material this is just as simple as that okay I think we can go to the draw right now I declare another variable uh, so int last equal to minus one so this last variable will contain the last material we used actually to index for the last material so we only have to declare a new material if this last is uh, not equal to the current yes and then let's uh, draw it so I just go down here uh, so here and I make an if so if 
the current material so if plus not equal to the current materials which is the faces i and we get the mat from it so ma like material because the face uh, faces mat variable contains the index for the material and we have material so and is material and then i just set the material so float diffuse so i create an array of from the diffuse this is the materials and the index is in the inside the faces so faces i mat and we get the diffuse zero from it okay and just get the other so one two so this will be the first and this will be the second actually the third and i set for now i just set it to 1.0 so the transparency we don't need transparency light now although later we can set it to the alpha okay and i do the same thing with, uh, with ambient so float ambient and uh, and i basically do the same thing except not material not diffuse but ambient so 1.0 so I just set it to end. I copy and paste it to save a little bit of time. Okay, that's it. And I need another one for the specular. Call it specular. Okay, and I just set it to spec, like specular. Specular and specular and specular okay and I set uh, and I set it with GL material FV so GL material FV and I set to the GL front actually in in the object file every polygon is facing toward us so we, it is enough to just set the GL front but you can set the GL front and back as well so gl diffuse and I just give it to the diffuse so this control doesn't work too well today okay so I set the ambient to the ambient and I set the specular to specular so again this specular is the shiny point so in this case it is the monkey program this white is the specular light as you can see so this shiny highlight basically okay and then go to the next we have to set the shininess of the material this is basically set that uh, how much should it reflect the specular this is a number between 0 and 128 so in this case uh, if I find it this is the 96 I think this is the uh, this is the same as the shininess so I use this as a shininess so GL material F uh, F so there is no vector it is just a simple number GL front and then GL shiny net like that and I set it to material oh materials faces I net and F so basically all you have to know is just that the uh, faces I mat contain the current materials for the index of the current material the actual material is, con uh, is uh, contained by the materials vector and there is the NS in it which is I think the, sh uh, the same as the shininess so I just set the shininess to that okay and to be some kind of to give some kind of uh, sense to this check we have to set the uh, last material to the current material so last equal to faces i met so we just set it to the current material 
now we have to set the textures if we want texture obviously so if the materials and so faces i and mat it texture equal to minus one if you remember back uh, then there when we don't read any texture then the texture is minus one so we just simple disable the texturing so gl disable gl texture to d okay and as so as there is some kind of texture we just turn it on and set the current texture to the texture so gl enable gl texture and uh, gl bind texture texture uh, G this is the gl texture 2d so a 2d texture oh this want to be a parenthesis so this is a 2d texture and uh, <coughs> we just get the uh, texture number so material mat so we just get the texture number and bind it so we will use it basically and i think that is about this so now we can draw it and every time the last texture is not equal to uh, the current texture we just change the texture so the material or the texture or both and uh, then we draw the things we have to draw and uh, that's about it i think we don't need to change anything else in there now let's make another member function the clean i've already also defined the clean in here we haven't make it so let's get into it so i just cut this and replace it with the clean so in the end we call the clean we haven't made this so let's make it void obj loader colon colon clean okay so we read uh, delete all of the coordinate but actually i make it an, a big a big error in here last time although i deleted uh, whatever the vector current element is point to i haven't deleted uh, the vector so whatever inside the vector and although that's not cause a problem if I just load one thing it cause a problem if I try to load multiple things so basically I just delete all of the element with clear so chord dot clear clear and then faces dot clear and then normal dot clear and then vertex dot clear and then materials dot clear i will delete the element in a moment okay and what else do we have a uh, texture coordinates or something like that do don't we mm, texture coordinate yep texture coordinate dot clear and actually i have to delete this last two so the element what is it point to because obviously it is um, dynamically allocated so i just copy and paste to give a little bit of time okay and so the first is the materials and i delete the material the next one is the texture coordinate and I delete the texture coordinate. It was just as simple as that. Okay, I think we haven't made the destructor, so let's make the destructor. Okay, so it will be obj loader colon colon obj loader. So this will be the destructor. The destructor basically does is delete the lists and the textures to avoid memory leaks and later maybe if we read more things that we have to delete then we delete it okay so delete the texture and the list so now we can learn something new this is the iterator the iterator basically a pointer to the element and we can go through it so mm, we have to first make a for loop and then here define the iterator